Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Lomo Marketer. And in today's video, I wanna talk about why SMS is the future. And so I've been doing lots of uh, tests recently. Uh, well, really for the past two years. And so about two years ago, I realized that most of the companies I was working with, probably 50 or 60 at the time, um, most of them or all of them really didn't have a lead problem. And what I mean by that is they were getting lots of leads and their campaigns were performing well. But what I noticed is a lot of these companies were struggling when it came to actually converting their leads. And so what I started out with, let me change this so we don't get as big of a reflection. What I started out with was um, knowing that some sort of follow-up had to be happening because uh, and by follow-up, I mean, after the quote was given, what I noticed is most of, you know, the companies I spoke with, they, um, they would say they would follow up, but they might not do it consistently. Um, and so all of the companies that I pulled that were doing the best were the ones that were really consistent with their follow-up. Many of them actually uh, doing phone call follow-ups. Uh, so I knew that the issue really was, uh, it wasn't a lead issue and it wasn't a lead cost issue. It was a closing issue, right? Because we have to remember if we, let's say if we get, you know, a hundred leads and our price per lead is, you know, let's say $20 a lead, right? So we're, we're paying $2,000. Uh, well, let's say out of those 100 leads, we only convert 10 into customers, right? So this is 2,000 in total spend, and we've gotten 10 customers. Okay, so our client acquisition cost is 2,000 divided by 10. So 200 cost per client acquisition. For those of you who do black car, you know that does not work, right? Because your average job might be $200. So you're literally uh, losing money at that uh, rate. But even those of you who do party buses, um, even an $800 job spending 25% <clears throat> of that on your customer acquisition is, uh, is not something you wanna do. Uh, you just won't be very profitable. Uh, so, uh, what we want then is we want to increase our close rate because this here, this price per lead, yes, we can get that lower and, um, and that's what we want to do, right? We always want to get leads for less money, uh, more relevant leads, but at some point you can only get it so low. And so that's why, uh, you know, it's so important to increase our close rate. Really what I like to see is, 30% close rate or, or greater, okay? So instead of 10 customers, we're getting 30 customers from that 100 leads. And look at what this does to these numbers, right? Um, that makes your client acquisition cost $66. Look, that might still be too high for some of you companies that do black car, but that's much, much better than $200, right? And so what does all of this have to do with SMS and email? Uh, well, number one I would say is deliverability. Okay, so for those of you who, um, who've ever done email marketing from your own domain, I, and I see this all the time, um, domains get blacklisted. And what that means is the emails you're sending, they're not even going to the clients. Uh, so that's a huge problem. Um, and then really just email in general, especially when your customers are retail uh, customers, when it's not for business, um, most people do not check their email as much as they check their text messages. You know, Not everyone gets notified when they get a new email. Pretty much everyone gets notified when they get a text message. And so two years ago, when I was seeing this problem where certain 
uh, clients I had were, had a very high acquisition cost. I said, well, we need some sort of email follow-up. And so uh, we put something like that in place and uh, the results were, were decent. Uh, what we found is on, uh, on that initial follow-up email, the response, and, and all we did was we just followed up with an email that said, hey, do you have uh, you know, any questions about the quote? Are you still looking to book? And we would send it out a few hours after the quote was done. And so the response rate I found were anywhere from 15 uh, to 25% for email. And I'm not saying they're responding saying, yeah, let's book it, but that's one metric we can track, right? Is what are the response rates? We need to have something we can track. Otherwise it's really hard to make a decision. And so, um, about a year ago, I switched over and said, let's try text follow-ups and see what that does. Well, it's been incredible the difference that has made. And now the response rates are anywhere from 55 to 75% response rates. And the lead to sale close rates for anyone using this automated text follow-up has in some instances increased by 50%. In some instances, it's doubled to triple. So let me just run that math for you. You know, in that previous example, 100 leads, $20 a lead, you know, that's 2,000 spend. Ten percent close rate, twenty percent, thirty percent, forty percent. Let's look at the different client acquisition costs of each, right? So this is two hundred dollar client acquisition cost, right? Uh, this is um, this is half of that, hundred dollar. This is sixty six dollars, and this is fifty dollars, right? Because, so that's a four there. Um, because, right, uh, 100 leads, that means 40 customers for $200 in spend, that means a $50 acquisition cost. So when we're looking to improve our results, the first place I always like to look, typically, if I know whoever's running the Google ads, the Facebook ads, whoever's doing the SEO, if I, if I have a pretty good feeling they know what they're doing, then I always look to this. I always look to, okay, first off, are you tracking your lead to sale conversion rate? So, so important, you gotta track that because otherwise you're not gonna be able to figure out your customer acquisition costs. And the reason we need that is we need a baseline because we need to improve on that number. And look, can you get to, can you become a seven figure transportation company without doing any of this? Of course, it's just gonna take longer. And the reason it will take longer is you don't know how to deploy, uh, you know, um, how to deploy your spend. You don't know, should I be spending money on Facebook ads, on Yelp, Thumbtack, Bark, SEO, Google ads, where should I put the money? And you're never going to know unless you track each and every channel. Is it going to take a little more time? Yes, it will. Is it going to be worth it? I promise you it will be. It might be the difference of you being a seven figure company in 10 years uh, in one year. And I'm not even, I'm not even joking about that. Um, that's really, uh, you know, how fast you can grow if you know what's getting you the best return on your marketing dollars. So uh, don't wanna make this video too long. In short, if you're not following up with text messages, give it a shot. And while you can manually follow up with everyone, you likely won't be consistent with it. And if you can be great, um, for those of you who say, Mark, I do corporate, you know, I can't be texting my clients. Okay, I would say give it a try. Because we're in 2021, a lot has changed in 10 years. 10 years ago, I would agree with you, text was something you did with friends and family. Now it seems like the conversation for everyone is moving to text messages. So that's why I say SMS is the future. Uh, so for those of you operators watching this, give it a shot. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, I would love 
it if you would hit that subscribe button, really easy to do, I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Also, give the video a like and let me know in the comments, are you doing follow-ups via text or, um, or email? And how's it working for you? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.